Hello, I'm Jacob. This is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Got to talk to you guys about grunt style real quick. I am no longer an ambassador for them. Um, and so I'm going to talk to you about why and what I think that means for my followers and supporters. First off, if you guys bought grunt style clothing uh, using my code, thank you very, very much. As you know, I got a portion of those proceeds and being a grunt style brand ambassador is something that honestly I was pretty proud of. Um, but I do think that grunt style has begun to change, uh, maybe because they've got a few too many suits involved, maybe there's a little bit too much money involved, I don't know. Um, but if you are you know, a viewer, a friend, a supporter with an entire closet full of grunt style clothing, I am not calling for you to go throw all your clothes away. As I said in my videos, they have a little bit of clothing for everybody and they have a lifetime guarantee on them. So if you spend $25 on a t-shirt, which you might spend anyways, that t-shirt can last you potentially indefinitely. That's, that's phenomenal. So I am not calling for everyone to start burning their grunt style. Now, what I am saying is that I can no longer represent them and have them representing me. So. You know, when this all started, Grunt, I, I first thought about being a brand ambassador for them because actually they started using my picture on their website and their advertisements without my permission. I actually thought that was pretty cool. So uh, I sent them a message like, hey, might as well be away from me to get paid for this, right? Um, grunt Style as a company represented something that I was all about. Uh, I am a grunt. You know, an infantry, I was an infantry soldier in the army, that's what a grunt is. And a grunt is rather crude, um, not political, and uh, patriotic as well. One of Grunt Style's big things is this will defend, and uh, they're all about uh, defending liberty and all about being veteran owned, all that crap, right? That's cool. I have a bunch of pictures and screenshots of that I've taken of all of this. I've decided for this video at least, I'm not gonna throw all that up because uh, I'm not trying to burn them to the ground, but they're making some pretty serious mistakes. Yesterday, I think it was yesterday, John McCain died. And as a veteran, whether someone's a war hero or not, actually doesn't matter depending on what they do later in their life. And what I mean is, that Osama bin Laden was a war hero. He was off fighting the Soviets for America. Does that mean that we mourn his death and talk about the good things he did before he died? Adolf Hitler was a war hero, one of the highest decorated war heroes in Germany. Does that mean that he had the uh, best interest of the German people at heart uh, to include the Jews? Do you think Jews are running around saying, well, Hitler was a war hero, Hitler was a war hero? No. No matter what John McCain did, a lot of it is questionable uh, as to the authenticity. I believe that it's true, but it can be argued, so it's not worth talking about. John McCain was an enemy of the United States Constitution when it came to gun rights and many other things. As a veteran, we have to hold other veterans accountable and to a higher regard because we took an oath before we entered to defend the, the Constitution from enemies foreign and domestic. John McCain was an enemy of the Constitution domestically. He died as a traitor, even if all of the other traitorous and treasonous bullcrap that he did didn't happen. No veteran company that I have seen went on the defense of John McCain yesterday except for Grunt Style. So don't tell me that you're a veteran-run company. A veteran, they're, they're hiring veterans, they're run by veterans, they're for veterans. And you don't care that this guy is pissing on the oath that he took and that you took, and you're cool with that, unless you're not veterans or unless you're just as bad. So if you're out there pissing on the Constitution, guess what? This you won't defend. Uh, you, you're not defending liberty. You're nothing. A grunt doesn't play this political game, and I kind of saw this happening as a grunt-style brand ambassador not too long ago. They sent out an email from Amanda saying, hey guys, don't get too political. You know, grunt-style is not political, this, that, and the other thing. Um, 
and they stopped doing their violent bedtime stories with the command sergeant major. All of those things are what I loved about Grunt's style. A Grunt doesn't sit here and play political games, but as this was happening, I also started being less and less interested in the shirts that Grunt style was offering. Um, they just weren't as cool and they weren't as soldier or grunt focused. Now they make shirts for hunters, race car drivers, golfers. I liked grunt style because it was grunt style. Not golf style, mechanic style, hunter style. And I like that they're pushing a patriotic um, vibe, but they're not patriotic. They're business people. I don't care whether they're veterans or not. I hope they're not veterans, to be honest, because if they are veterans, they're pissing on the Constitution right next to John McCain, and they're a bunch of dirtbags. If they're a bunch of people in suits that are lying to you to get veteran money, fine, whatever, push the, push the vibe, but you didn't take that oath. If you did take that oath, you got to hold other people who did accountable they show that they don't do that, and so Grunt Style no longer represents me or what I liked about Grunt Style. It's not Grunt Style anymore. It's, a, it's another t-shirt company that offers a lifetime guarantee with a sprinkling of patriotism. That's it. So uh, as far as Grunt Style goes, uh, I can only hope that there are grunts running the company and some people are getting fired and you figure out what you're actually doing or you change the dang name because the company is like, look at their products. They slap the grunt style logo on everything made by anybody all over the place and probably 10% of their stuff, maybe less, maybe 5% of their stuff is actually like grunt stuff like it used to be. So. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, again, thank you to everybody who helped support me. I'm not calling for anyone to trash their stuff, but I will no longer be representing Grunt Style. Uh, my company logo, Beach and Tactical, by the way, if you do want to support this channel, is no excuses, no exceptions. So I'm not going to play this little political game, Mamby Pamby bull crap. And I'm not uh, going to advertise my product you know, if golfers and doctors and everybody else buys my stuff, that's cool. I'm happy for them. But I'm not going to sacrifice anything of what I'm offering or how I'm offering it to cater to them. So no excuses, no exceptions. Look forward to talking in the comments section below. Um, feel free to let Grunt Style know what you think about their support of the trader, John McCain. Thank you for watching and have a great day.